Hi, it's Anne. Thanks for stopping by. So here's what we're gonna do today. I just wanna work with a bunch of things that are on my desk. I had kind of an idea that had occurred to me um, about making junk journal tags. And I needed, I found myself needing a bunch of larger tags, larger size tags. And um, I also had so much junk mail I wanted to use up, so much. And, um, you know, your junk mail always uh, uh, always reflects the kind of um, uh, charitable donations you make. So that's kind of interesting to uh, to see. Anyway, um, I ended up with all kinds of uh, uh, all kinds of envelopes because when I make my donations, I tend to do that online. But they send you the the envelopes anyway, as well. You know. So anyway, I wanted to start using these envelopes. Um, I use them a lot for pockets, but I wanted to start using them for inside tags because. They're nice and thin. A lot of times I like a thinner tag rather than a thicker one so that my junk journal doesn't get all that bulky. So um, anyway, I have no idea how this is going to go, but I have a little bit of an idea. So let's just kind of craft with what's on my desk and see if this uh, if this, this idea makes sense. This, this is going to be just a little bit too long. I kind of like my large size tags to be oh, about seven and a half inches, but Precision, definitely not necessary, but let's clip off the top of this envelope and that's all we're going to need. Now, my idea is that I'm going to glue uh, the writing surface, the um, the journaling space. I'm going to cover the, the back of the envelope and do the backing first and then fold the excess over to the front. So we're just going to see how that works. Here's my glue stick. And let me get a piece of paper to put underneath that. Since I reorganized my craft space, I sometimes I have things so handy that I, I forget that they're super um, they're right here at arms uh, within arm's reach. So That's nice and sticky. And I'm gonna make certain that this lines up nice and straight along the bottom of the envelope. That's gonna be the bottom of our tag. Or it could be the top. I'm gonna show you in a second why it doesn't really matter. There we go. Clackety clack over here. Tear off that excess. And might as well do it along the top too. So since the only text that was directional on that backing is something I tore off, it's not gonna matter for for this um um, for this journal. Now, here's the back, here's the front, and there's this flap over on one side. What I'm going to do is tear it off. And that backing is going to help decorate the front of our tag by folding over like that. We'll decorate all of this, but this little fold over is gonna be here. It kinda ties the front and the back together visually. Not that you need to do that, but it's handy. So let me ink the edge of that fold over piece. that might look kind of nice. So my thought was that I would line the, the remaining piece with book page and then decorate on top of that. So I have this piece from a old cookbook that's nice to use. So 
so I think I'm just going to use this. And the left-hand side does not need to be uh, pristine because we're going to be covering it over with our little fold-over piece. So... I got things rolling all over the place here today, but now I'm going to be sure and keep my flap out of the way here. Might be easier to keep it straight if I, uh, if I had a straight edge there, but I'm gonna kind of gauge it from the type that's on the back. So this is gonna look kind of weird right now, but I think, I think you can see how that's shaping up. I've got a little bit of excess getting into that foldy area. There, that's better. Now, let me even this up and it's gonna start to look a little bit more like a tag. But I do like the idea that it's gonna be nice and thin because I don't know about you, but when my junk journals get really, really thick, when all the ephemera and stuff that I put into it starts to, you know, when each piece is, you know, like a, several layers of thick cardstock and maybe some embellishments or something, the whole thing just gets, gets super, super thick really fast. Here is the makings for this tag. I think we need to get some embellishment on there. I pulled this out of, I think, a Harry and David catalog um, because I like the idea. Um, I was thinking about doing some some journaling about Christmas, and one of my favorite things for when we have company over at Christmas time is to have a big charcuterie board. Uh, it's easy. Everybody loves it, and the leftovers are great. You have sandwiches for days. So I think I'm going to use this cutout of this um, piece from a charcuterie board and just have that be um, a tag that I can use writing about some fun holiday entertaining. So I want to leave this part, un um, I might want to slide, I don't know what's going to go up here, I want to, might want to slide something underneath there, but the bottom part I'm pretty sure I'm going to just put my focal point on top of my fold over piece. So I'm just going to fold over or glue down this. And yeah. Might as well glue the whole thing and I can either trim off the excess or fold it over. A lot of folks who are new to junk journaling always ask about glues to use. When I'm working with very thin paper, I use a glue stick. Scotch Create. I'm not, a, uh, they're not sponsors. I'm just an enthusiast. Uh, so for thin paper, I use a, I use glue stick. And for thicker, um, sturdier paper, I use Art Glitter Glue. There's no glitter in it. That's just the brand. The brand is long since gone. But if you're into this hobby at all, you certainly know Art Glitter Glue. It's super useful. What did I do with my glue card? Probably, oh, there it is. I'm gonna go right to the edge there. Glue this down here. And I really love having that graph paper that's my journaling um, uh, uh, surface on the back. I really love having having that brought here to the front and just there along that left-hand side. I think that's I think that's really cool. Do I want to fold this over? Let's do just to see. Get a little bit of little bit of salami there. I think I'm gonna um, trim this side off though. There we go. There we go. 
go. Now, what to put up here? I think I don't want it to get too busy because that has been my undoing with um, uh, some t uh, with other uh, car or tags that I have have done, and I just didn't like like they ended up just being way too busy. So I think I'm just going to put this little jar of peanuts down, or a little bowl of peanuts. I guess they're cashews from also from the Harry and David catalog, and this is just going to be just kind of snacky. And since I don't, it's turning out I'm not having anything that I want to tuck under there. I was thinking there might be a word or something like that. I think I'm going to keep this one really simple. There's a lot of text on that recipe page. And now I'm just going to make a tag out of it. There's my old card that I trimmed corners off of, and I use that as a template. An idea that is not new to me. Many others, far more skilled than I, have pioneered that process. There we go. And let me get my corner punch. So nice to have everything nearby. These corner punches Sometimes don't work great if the glue is a little bit, little bit uh, still wet in there, but let's see if I can wrestle this in there. There we go. I am loving that. And I think that is going to be a really, really nice, um, a nice little, little card to, to journal about, um, about holiday, holiday entertaining plans. Ink up the sides. Oh, inking. It finishes everything off. This is just our, our beloved vintage photo. Every crafter in the world uses vintage photo distress ink. I like this. I think all I have to do is punch a hole in the top. So I'm just gonna use my mat and get that kind of positioned there. And it looks like this is about the, about the spot. the old big bite out here and there goes that I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a brad in there or not a brad a eyelet I think I'm gonna pull a dark one out of there There we go. And everything lined up. An easy work out of that. Got a little strip of muslin that was just handy here. I have found that um, when I tie a knot there, I love the look of that, but that does tend to make the, the tag a lot thicker than I want it, so I can keep the whole thing flatter if I just thread whatever ribbon or twine or a strip of fabric that I'm putting through the top of the tag. If I can, I can keep it flatter if I just thread it through and then um, tie a little, a little twine around to finish that off.
There we go. That's cute. Let me be a better crafter and not let my glue stick dry out. Little bit of glue there to glue that corner down. I think that's fine. I'm not gonna overdo it. Um, I could put like a little strip of washi or you know a little little uh, uh, little stenciling, but I'm gonna leave well enough alone. I need to learn how to do that more. So this is gonna be a, uh, an exercise in restraint for me there. Um, as long as we're here, do you wanna do another one? Let's look and see what I've got. I did do a little bit of sorting to put a few things on my desk together. And this is a slightly different kind of one. Um, I think I'm gonna trim off the edge of this one as well. So it can be about the same size as the other one, but I'm not gonna bother to measure. You know what is gonna make a difference though is if I use this, it's not gonna be any can't be any uh, taller than that piece. So this will be a little bit shorter. That's big enough I could use that for a pocket. All right, now the backing first. Remember that process. Backing goes first. And I have a little less, little less width here. I think, I don't often do this because the idea is to use as much of the envelope as possible, but I'm gonna trim a little bit of the width off of here too. a book page that was a, from a gardening journal, I think, and had a lot of graph paper in it. There we go. And since I created an opening there, I better close that down here a little bit. I should have put the fold on that side because I would be sealing up the other side. But anyway, that's okay. Um, now let's trim off the top. And the bottom. Using the old trusty tear ruler. And Let's tear here along this edge. Now it's gonna be our fold over edge. Easy, nice graph paper surface, surface to write on when this tag is doing its duty in a journal. There we go, now fold that over. And that's gonna be our our decorative edge. There we go. Now here is the book page I wanted to use. And this, you can see it's like out of an old storybook. And <laughs> lots of illustrations in this storybook. A lot of them are just kind of creepy. So I am glad to be taking um, the non-creepy parts out and I just don't think I'm going to be using this little whimsical gal. Sorry, Thumbelina or whoever you are there. Um, but we all have our personal taste in these things, don't we? Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. This paper is a little bit thicker, so I think I'm going to use my art glitter glue. I guess I don't really trust the glue stick 
to do its job with a sturdier piece of paper like this. It's super good on thin paper. Excellent, excellent on like dictionary pages or things like that. There we go. And now that's gonna fold over there. Oh, I like that a lot. But do you know what? It does need something down here. I wonder if I could put a label or something here. I made a few tickets. This is a what's on my desk thing. So I should look and see what's on my desk. Here's a ticket. I kind of like that. I kind of like it over the edge of that um, of that butterfly page. So let me trim this off and get a better sense of the proportions we're going to be working with. This is an accidental cut in that paper, and I have something that looks a little jarring. I'm going to turn that into a tear there. It's a little less distracting. Admit one. Admit one butterfly. Do I want that or do I want... I have a one that's a little greener. I think I like the greener one, oddly. So let me put that one down. These were some that I made just with some rubber stamps um, or acrylic stamps that I had. And I had a... A big page I'd done a bunch of mixed media on, put some spatters and different kinds of distress inks that I let run into each other and made just a big a big sheet. And then I did, did a bunch of stamping and cut out my own labels and tickets. And I, I like the results. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Whoops, I was going to put that on top, wasn't I? There we go. Yeah, that's better. out. Yes. Now, of course, what I can't find is my little tag making template. But never fear, I have another one. There we go. Now because I have this is in layers and not everything is glued together inside that envelope, I'm gonna check and make certain I'm sealed up here, which of course I am not. I could almost make a pocket out of it, couldn't I? Let me just kind of glue that edge down and that's gonna be a nice little pocket. about rounding up those bottom corners. Whoops. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to go up a size because I kinda mangled that one a little bit. And Gonna require a little little manual fixing there. That happens a lot. No biggie.
Now let's look and see if we can figure out the best spot for the tag hole. that gold one. And I've got a little bit of lace here. This is thin enough. I think I could tie it in a bow, but um, you know, I think I'm going to do like I did with the other one and tie it so it's nice and flat. and feel like I'm all thumbs when I'm working with this tiny little, I think it's probably a tiny little lace making crochet thread or something like that. But anyway, it won't add a lot of thickness to the tag or to the journal. I think I'm liking this process. I love the idea that there's a, an envelope, a junk mail envelope in the base of, of um, of each of these cards and I think they're simple. I think you could, if you just identified um, a, a focal point that you wanted to have, you could do just some sort of nice collaging as well um, that would be lovely on this. But the whole idea is that you put your back on your, um, uh, your envelope first, leave an extension on one side and then fold that over with a torn edge to help encase and give you a decoration all down one side of the tag. It'd be easy to do on the other side as well. So there you go. That's it for this one. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.